वेलकम टू सवी यूट्यूब चैनल साई विद्या इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस लेक्चर वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सम ऑफ द स्टैंडर्ड रैंडम वेरिएबल्स एंड न्यूमेरिकल प्रॉब्लम्स ऑन मॉड्यूल नंबर वन इन इंजीनियरिंग स्टैटिस्टिक्स एंड लीनियर आलजिब्रा सिंगल रैंडम वेरिएबल्स लेट एस डिस्कस सम ऑफ द रैंडम वेरिएबल्स स्टैंडर्ड रैंडम वेरिएबल्स वन बाई वन The first standard random variable is uniform random variable. Let us define what is uniform random variable. Let x be the uniform random variable which is uniformly distributed between x1 to x2. Then the PDF of uniform distribution function is defined as f x of x equal to 1 divided by x2 minus x1 in the limits x1 to x2 suppose if the value of x1 is a and x2 equal to b then the f x of x value becomes 1 divided by b minus a and it is 0 for any other values of the x we should note that the area of the pdf curve is always 1 the width of this uniform distribution function it is from x1 to x2 the width is x2 minus x1 the height is 1 divided by x2 minus x1 if i find the area then the area of this uh, rectangle will be x2 minus x1 into the height is 1 by x2 minus x1 so we are going to get the total area as 1 the cdf of uniform random variable x can be determined by using the general relationship between the pdf and cdf so we know that the cdf is given by the integral of the pdf function from the limits minus infinity to x the given uniform random variable it is present from x1 up to x so this x can vary anywhere in between x2 and x1 now if i solve this integral i am going to get the cdf value of the given uniform random variable as x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 when the x is in between x1 and x2 if i substitute the value of x equal to x2 then the numerator and denominator become same then I am going to get the CDF value as 1 that is the highest value of the CDF therefore I can generalize the CDF function of uniform random variable as so it is 0 for x less than x1 because we don't have any uniform function in this interval then in the interval from x1 to x2 the CDF value is x minus x1 divided by x2 minus x1 and for any value x greater than or equal to x2 the cdf value is 1 so it is an increasing function so the plot of cdf is shown in this figure so it starts from 0 and is linearly increasing from x1 to x2 then the final value of the cdf is 1 let us continue to study the continuous random variables now the second standard random variable is exponential random variable let y be the exponential random variable then its pdf can be defined as it is lambda into e to the power of minus lambda y for y in between 0 to infinity and is 0 for any other values of the y in this definition the lambda represents the rate constant rate constant that means it is the starting amplitude of the exponential distribution at y equal to 0 then the amplitude decreases as y increases its tdf can be determined by using the relationship between cdf and pdf by using that integral formula from 0 to y of pdf exponential distribution so if we solve this integral we are going to get the cdf of the exponential random variable as 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda y for y in between 0 to infinity and it is 0 if the value of y is less than 0 
if I sketch the plots for exponential distribution that is a PDF and a CDF so you can observe these two plots so these exponential PDF and it is the corresponding CDF curves so these type of plots we can observe in the capacitor charging and discharging in some of the circuits example triple phi a stable multi vibrator there so this PDF represents like it is a discharging of the capacitor from some initial voltage towards zero towards zero then this CDF represents it is the charging of the capacitor to the highest value one so this CDF has the least value zero and the highest value as one at y equal to infinity so in between zero to in infinity the CDF is continuously increasing with exponential manner the e equation of the CDF is 1 minus e to the power of minus lambda into y let us continue to study the continuous random variables the third standard single random variable is Gaussian this variable is very important for many communication uh, applications the noise in any communication model the noise behavior is considered as Gaussian even in many of the optical applications the light pulse is considered as Gaussian in shape now the standard PDF of the Gaussian random variable can be defined like this f x of x equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi into sigma x into exponential of minus x minus mu x whole square divided by 2 into sigma x square for any value of x in between minus infinity to plus infinity in this equation sigma x square represents the variance of the random variable x and mu x represents the mean value of the Gaussian random variable x now in many of the cases we will assume that the Gaussian random variable is normalized for normalized Gaussian random variable the standard value of the mean and variance are mu x is 0 and sigma x square is 1 therefore its standard deviation also equal to 1 therefore if I substitute the mean value as 0 and variance as 1 I will get normalized Gaussian random variable PDF function as f x of x equal to 1 divided by square root of 2 pi into exponential of minus x square by 2 where x is in between minus infinity to plus infinity its corresponding CDF is given by it is the integral over minus infinity to x of the PDF of the Gaussian random variable f x of x so this function it is a standard distribution function probability distribution function so in this case especially for the Gaussian random variable to solve the RHS so they will give one data sheet called as probability distribution function for the Gaussian random variable it is usually indicated by capital letter pi of x so it gives the value of the integral from minus infinity to x so for all the values of x in between minus infinity to plus infinity so they will give one data sheets in that by using the data sheets you can note down what is the value of psi x so that you can determine the probability of the Gaussian random variable for any given values of the x so now in this figure we have shown the plots of PDF of the Gaussian random variable and CDF of the Gaussian random variable your Gaussian random variable it is symmetric with respect to y axis and it is like one bell shape curve bell shape curve with highest intensity is 1 divided by square root of 2 pi at x equal to 0 and it is a symmetric curve whereas if you see the CDF so at minus infinity it starts with 0 and from minus infinity to plus infinity it starts increasing towards 1 